Hey, this is Nimblebeard bringing you a tutorial on how to make custom honeycomb icons for rain meter using the PSD or Photoshop file that is pre-packaged with the honeycomb skin. Instead of using Photoshop, I will be using a free photo editing tool called GIMP. Link in the description if you want to check it out. So let's open GIMP and navigate to your rain meter skin location. The default location is Documents, Rain Meter, Skins, and then select the honeycomb folder. Scroll all the way to the bottom and open the file named template.psd. There are three layers to the template that we can see on the right hand side. The shadow, which is the dark underneath part, a soft light effect, and the honeycomb itself. We will be working with the honeycomb layer. So let's go get an image that we want to make into a honeycomb icon. I'm going to search for a PUBG image. This one looks good. You can save that wherever you like. Go back to GIMP and go to File, Open as Layer. Now you can see the image is opened as its own layer on the right side. It is quite a bit bigger than the honeycomb, so let's right click and scale the layer down. Once you have the size about right, we want to select the honeycomb layer and go to Tools, Selection Tools, Fuzzy Select. The shortcut for that is the U key if you would rather use that. We want to select the white honeycomb area and then go to your layers and select the image you imported. Now you can see that we still have the honeycomb shape selected and you can see the outline of what will be our custom image. You can adjust the image and where it lines up in the honeycomb shape using the move tool by pressing the M key and then dragging the image. Line it up so it looks good and then make sure you're still seeing that dashed line selection. Then go to select invert or control I. This will make it so we are selecting everything outside of our current selection to trim off the outside of our custom image. Hit the delete button. As you can see, it deleted the image but left it white. That is because the image we imported did not have an alpha or clear channel. Right click the image layer and select add alpha channel. Now if we go back and do that delete again, it clears it completely. You can use the text tool and add some writing or customize it however you want from there. But we're pretty much done with this image. Now I'm going to show you another type of honeycomb icon, one where it's not just a picture filling the honeycomb, but a logo instead. Let's stick with PUBG, but this time we will choose the PUBG logo. This one has transparency, which is great. If you choose one without transparency, you will have to remove the background color yourself. So let's open that logo as a new layer, and we will have to rescale it. Okay, that wasn't small enough. Let's rescale it again. We can check the honeycomb layer's width and height for a good gauge as to how big it should be. Okay, that looks good. We don't want a plain white background, so let's go over to our color selector and let's choose a PUBG color, something yellow-orange. This looks good. So now we want to select our fuzzy select tool again and select the white part of the hex layer and then click on bucket fill. Fill the honeycomb with your color. I click the eye next to the layer so I can see without the logo in front of what I'm working on. Click that back on and take a look at the end result. And there we go. Our second custom honeycomb option for PUBG. To save your new icon, you're going to want to go to file, export as, and navigate back to the Documents, Rain Meter, Skins, Honeycomb folder, and go into At Resources, and then the Image folder. This is where all the honeycomb skins are held. Save the file in this directory and name it whatever you want. I'll name it PUBG. Make sure the file extension is .png so that it keeps the transparency. If you liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. You can check out more of my content on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, at Nimblebeard. And you can click the icons on the screen to check out my other videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.